so we are officially all aboard the IVF train. everybody it's Al back for another update for everyone so <laughs> sorry for the attire and if I look super sweaty I just got back from rock climbing um, with my husband but I wanted to jump on real quick and let you guys know some super exciting news that we got today so my husband had another semen analysis and every time he's been going in since he saw this new doctor um, the um, the process or whatever the protocol okay so the protocol for him has been if there's anything there to freeze it because they're worried that the day of they're not going to get any like modal sperm like motility wise um if this medicine doesn't work they want to make sure that they have something there that they can fertilize all my eggs with well he was super optimistic that this was going to be the golden ticket i was a little bit more nervous about i don't know if this is going to work and i was just like i've kind of lost a touch of my optimism about fertility ever since we started this process just because it's taken a good chunk of time so um and with all the diagnoses of crazy things we've had happen so but he did have a semen analysis and the protocol has been to freeze every semen analysis that has any modal sperm at all so far there has been no modal sperm this time he finally had some and it's um, sufficient to do IVF with ICSI so we're super jazzed about that. They were able to freeze six vials which is amazing to us. So I'm super happy that that worked because um, they were saying if there wasn't any improvement we might have to do surgery on him to try to extract modal sperm so <laughs> he was not thrilled about that idea um so we're just super happy that we were able to get six vials and he doesn't have to have surgery so we're super jazzed about that um but of course we're still a little disappointed because the levels were not where they need to be to be qualified for an IUI so we are gonna have to do IVF so we are officially all aboard the IVF train. We have a follow-up with our reproductive endocrinologist coming up that I will be going to, my husband has to work, but I'll be going to it myself and talking about everything and getting us started on the IVF process. So we're officially moving forward and that is just crazy. Um, and for those who are wondering, yes, I did recover from my infection if you saw my last video and I'm feeling so much better now and most of the side effects have gone away with all the Parladel that I've been taking and everything so that has been great and yeah we are officially all aboard the IVF train so excited about that and we'll see what happens. Bye!